Las Vegas, Nevada. For millions, it's a vacation getaway. For running back Steven Jackson, born and raised here, it is home. Usually the off-season is a time of rest. But since going to the Pro Bowl in 2006, Jackson has been nagged by injuries for two straight seasons. This summer has been about sacrifice. If he's going to leave a lasting mark in the NFL, the 26-year-old running back knows this year must be his year. His time is now. In a city known for its excess, the Bread of Life Church is a study in humility. Pastor Simi Richard has known Stephen Jackson since the NFL star was a small child. Lord Jesus, I stumbled so much I thought God was just tired of me. I've known Stephen for 20 years. He's been coming to church here since he was about four or five years old. He was a small little Rudy guy. No one would never have thought that he would grow to the size that he is, as strong as he is, as agile as he is. He's a phenomenal football player and a person, a great person. For Steven Jackson, bread of life is very much like the rest of Las Vegas. He feels a special connection to the city. The mayor of Las Vegas presented me with the key to the city. Uh, it was a huge honor for me to receive this and uh, it means a lot. Hey, Mama. My sister had married and uh, moved to Las Vegas, so I talked to her and coming out to visit with her for a while. And, uh, you know, if we didn't like that, then we would uh, move on to Chicago. But as God would have it, we both fell in love with Las Vegas, and we've been here uh, for the past 40 years or so. There was little about young Stephen Jackson to suggest a future NFL running back. But even in the beginning, he loved the game. He's always loved football, but we tried to steer him. My wife and I tried to steer him away. She put him in gymnastics. I tried to steer him to baseball. He played basketball for a while, but then I was given a chance to uh, be an assistant coach his freshman year with coach uh, for a few days. And uh, I think that was the end of his foot, uh, basketball. He didn't, <laughs> like, he didn't like having that as, as a coach. Uh. In my eyes, what drew, drew me to football was I had an older cousin, he was a running back, and he was really, really successful in, in high school. Went on to college, uh, things didn't pan out for him, but I remember um, not really having an older brother around. And, you know, just getting out on the field, playing, and just enjoying uh, some of the camaraderie of other kids. I used to get angry with the uh, Bob Warner coach, and uh, he would send, he had three running backs, and they both were larger than Steven. Steven was probably the smallest guy on his team for a long time. And the coach would send Steven up the middle and the other two guys, they would go around the edges and run, you know, outside and get the long runs. And I confronted the coach one time. I said, Coach, uh, Steven, can, he's pretty fast. He can go around the end like, he's, like the other kids. He said, well, Mr. Jackson, I tell them all first to go up the middle. Steven puts his head down and goes up the middle and the other kids duck out and run outside. He said, Steven has heart. That's something you can't teach. I have several boxes that I have stored all the Stephen things in that is near and dear to me. This is Stephen's first little trophy in 1990 when he played with the Buffaloes. Of course, you see right here it says Stephen Lightning Jackson. We used to call him Lightning. He would go to gymnastics and then he would leave there and go into this is in Pop Warner and play. And he was so tired. He was too tired to even. Uh, get his homework and pursue it. He would go to sleep trying to do his homework. So we had to make a decision. And she wanted to pull him up from football. And I told him, I said, well, why don't we let him make a decision? So when we asked him which one he wanted, he had to quit one, which one he wanted to drop. And he wanted to drop this nasty. I think it was came as a shock to my wife, but it was no shock to me. I knew he was going to choose football. At least I was hoping he was going to choose football. And uh, with the size that he grew into, I think it's, it was best that he did, too. I mean, can you just see him now trying to do it? <laughs> he was probably in uh, 
sophomore, junior year in high school, uh, that, as I remember, and he was surrounded and tackled. You would think he was down, like five or six guys are around him, and all of a sudden, out of the pack, he comes out, and, and, and the paper the next day said, Steven Jackson like Houdini or something. kind of just put these trophies in here. Stephen graduated with a 3.7, I do believe, when he graduated from high school. So he had an opportunity also, as well as football, they came at them for academic scholarship. El Dorado High would later retire Jackson's jersey. Oh, when I scored a touchdown, uh, I rolled the dice. It's just a gesture of, um, shouting out where I'm from, my hometown, known for his entertainment and his gambling. So I, I rolled a dice, I had a salute to my hometown and my friends, showing support and love and not forgetting where I, you know, where I came from. <laughs> 